Boxing.com with Buddy McGirt, the trainer of Tyshawn, who will fight on February 27 at the Fantasy Spring Casino in Indio, California. Now, Buddy, um, what have you seen in Tyshawn that he's already talented at, or he's already good at? He's willing to learn. Uh, most fighters today think they know everything. You know, you tell them something, they say, yeah, I know I was going to do that. Well, if he's going to do it, I shouldn't have to tell you. Right. You know what I mean? So he's young and he's, you know, he's willing to learn. So that's what I like about him, his work ethic. You don't see that a lot in young people, the, opening, the openness to kind of learn new things and not to believe that they, they know everything already, right? Yes, exactly. Um, what have you seen that he may need to work on and or that you can teach him? The, key, the hardest thing to teach him is to stay relaxed. You know, on the Mitchell, on the baggage school, and to fight some time and the sparring, he has a tendency of tensing up, then they get relaxed and they have tense up. So the key is to get him to maintain that relaxing and he's going to be all right. And how do you do that? Do you just get him comfortable so through all the sparring? Over and over. Oh, okay. just got to keep repeating myself. And my mom to hear him and my, I want him to hear me in, in his sleep. Okay. <laughs> um, and what do you have, you know, what advice do you have, not for young fighters, but for young, young trainers, maybe trainers who are opening a gym somewhere in the country, or for trainers who might be like the Calzaghis or Garcias, who might be training a family member that they want to go up with them. What advice do you give to them? Well, I mean, the thing is this, you know, um, when the fighter walks in the gym, the trainer's the boss, and you be the boss. But it's the first time you give up being the boss and let the fighter run over you, it's a wrap. If a fighter tells him he's going to come in at 10 o'clock, and he comes in at 11 o'clock without calling me or telling me anything, you train yourself today. I mean, if you can't pick up the phone and call me and tell me you're going to be late, I mean, you had me sitting there for a whole hour, and I told you just come down and cater to you, wrong guy. And I heard you in other interviews talking about fighters uh, or trainers from the new school who aren't respecting old school trainers. Well, what is it that they're they're missing out from not listening to them? I think they're stubborn. A lot of the, the tra new trainers, they 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 think that you know they can reinvent the wheel. You can't reinvent the wheel in boxing. You know what I'm saying? Boxing is boxing. The key is if you can express it and teach it. I mean, like the next man. So everyone does it different, but the key is to get the same results. But I'm a firm believer that anybody can train not too many people can teach so the old school trainers were teachers as well as trainers because it seems like you know there's a belief that you have to be a world champion you have to do all these things just so you can be a great trainer but I don't believe that you're saying that it's something different right it's something different because you have some great fighters that can't be trainers they don't have the patience it takes a lot of patience to be a trainer and you know um, Dundee has been around a lot of great people Angelo Dundee before he got with Muhammad Ali you know what I mean he was in the corner with the guys that trained Carmen Basilio who beat the great Ray Robinson so Basilio, I mean, Dundee's been around a lot of great trainers coming up. And he had an older brother, so he learned. You know what I mean? So, and Teddy learned from Cuss. You know what I mean? So, you know, Teddy just didn't walk into the gym and say, I'm a trainer. He learned from Cuss tomorrow. And he learned from other trainers in the gym, you know what I mean, in New York. Because New York back then was full of a lot of old school trainers. And is there something about just being in the gym every day, being in the nuts and bolts of boxing that kind of teaches you? Nuts and bolts, nuts and guts, however you want to call it. But you just got to pick up the knowledge. There's, there's not too many old school trainers left. And me, when I was a fighter, even when I was world champion, believe it or not, I used to go to the old gyms in New York and sit with a lot of the old trainers and just pick their brains every day. The ex-fighters every day. Every day. You know, if you didn't feel like, where's Buddy? Buddy's up at the gym. He's, was he training? No, I was in the gym picking brains, man. Just learning. Just learning from the old school guys.